In part one of this tutorial, I showed you how to make a cube uh, move its position, in this example, bouncy up and down. Uh, in this second part, I'm going to show you how to uh, continuously rotate a 3D object. If we look at the code for the moving cube and the code for the spinning cube, they are very similar. Um, the main difference is in the position interpolator is replaced with an orientation interpolator. Uh, besides that, there's just a couple of small differences. In the route that links the clock to the interpolator, uh, the name of the interpolator is different. In the spinning cube, it's called spin things, and in the position, it's called move things. And in the route that links the interpolator to the shape that we're going to animate, the to field in the position interpolator is translation, and in the spinning cube, it's set rotation. Looking at the orientation interpolator, we have five keyframes, the same as with the blue sphere in the previous example. Uh, but for each keyframe, there are four values. The first three represent a vector for the axis of rotation, and the fourth value represents the amount of turn. If we look at the values for halfway through the animation, the amount of uh, rotation is 3.14159, which of course you all recognize as pi. Uh, the amount of rotation is measured in radians, and there are two pi radians in a complete turn, 360 degrees. So uh, pi is 180 degrees, which is we'd expect the amount of turn for halfway through the animation. Um, to set the axis of rotation to be the y-axis, which is the vertical axis, put a 1 value uh, in the second column in the y-value. Uh, in this example, I put the 1 value in the x position. The x axis is the horizontal axis and when we view the cube it spins about the horizontal axis, the x axis. I'm going to end my introduction to animation in the X3D format there. Um, if you want more information there should be more information at the um, web3d.org website, but the links there, I think they're updating their website and a lot of the links I couldn't get to the tutorials and things there. But on this site, which is um, a sister site to the X3DOM website, uh, there is, for instance, a list of all the tags uh, used in X3D, including all the interpolator tags, and there's a scalar interpolate a tag and it gives information about that tag so there's some more documentation there um, I'll put all the files used uh, at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and